The Specialty Coffee Association has very specific guidelines for water used in making coffee and espresso in relation to their gold cup standards. Water parameters impact coffee flavor and affect the machines used to make it. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. A few weeks ago, I was at the Specialty water Coffee water Expo water in water Seattle water and attended a seminar on water quality presented by David Beeman. He's one of the authors of the SCA's Water Quality Handbook. He also created custom water blends for companies like Starbucks, Pete's Coffee, and many other specialty coffee retailers. So in this video, I'll share what I learned, what's in water, and how it affects flavor and brewing equipment. I'll go over the SCA water quality standards and how specific parameters like chlorine, TDS, hardness, pH, alkalinity, and sodium can affect flavor and your equipment. We'll go over how to find out how your water rates and I'll have easy solutions for making sure your water is right for making good coffee and preventing damage to your equipment. Now, my personal interest in water quality comes not only from coffee, but I also happen to keep a saltwater reef aquarium. So in my home, I have a reverse osmosis system to purify water. It produces chlorine-free, zero TDS water, and I test for things like hardness, alkalinity, calcium pH, and more on a regular basis. What I do at home is make that ultra-pure water with the RO system, add things to it to make it suitable for the fish and corals, and do a lot of testing to make sure all the parameters are right. Now, while my fish don't drink any coffee, keeping a reef aquarium, I've learned about water quality. All the parameters I test for and control are the same ones important to making coffee and espresso. So here are the SCA water standards. Water should be clean, fresh, odor-free, and clear in color. Total chlorine of zero, total dissolved solids of 150 milligrams per liter, calcium hardness of four grains or 68 milligrams per liter, total alkalinity of 40 milligrams per liter, pH of seven, and sodium at 10 milligrams per liter. Now, those are targets, but the acceptable range is wider for many characteristics, and anything within the acceptable range meets the SCA standard. Now, let's break down each characteristic. Odor and color are straightforward. Smell the water and look at it. It should smell clean and be clear in color. Now, chlorine is added to municipal water supplies to control microbes. Most all tap water contains some chlorine, and we don't want any in brew water for two reasons. First, it can affect flavor, and second, with high temperature and pressures in espresso equipment, chlorinated water creates hydrochloric acid. Over time, that acid eats away at metals like stainless steel in brewing equipment. Chlorine is removed using carbon filtration. Filter cartridges and outboard filter systems contain carbon to remove chlorine. TDS, or total dissolved solids, measures the overall mineral content of water. That SCA target is 150 parts per million, which is equal to 150 milligrams per liter. High TDS results in a mineral taste and reduces flavor extraction. Low TDS causes over-extraction with tannic aftertaste and dry mouth effects. Water hardness measures the calcium carbonate in water. The SCA target is four grains or 68 milligrams per liter. Under certain conditions, like temperatures over 180 degrees Fahrenheit, calcium carbonate turns to a solid and forms scale. If you have hard water, you likely already know about it, but many machines come with a test strip for measuring hardness. Water hardness can be reduced with softening and most espresso machine filters include a softening agent. One thing to be aware of, softening resins release sodium into water when removing calcium carbonate and can result in high sodium levels when treating very hard water. For pH, the target is seven, which is neutral. The biggest effect of pH is in creating scale. While a pH of seven is ideal, a reading of 6.5 to 7.5 is okay. A pH above 7.5 can cause excess scale buildup, especially if your water is hard, and hard water tends to have a higher pH. Now, alkalinity is often confused with pH. They are related, but total alkalinity is a measure of all alkaline substances dissolved in water. In the end, what alkalinity measures is the water's ability to resist change in pH. The SCA target for total alkalinity is 40 milligrams per liter. When you heat water with high alkalinity, it can convert to calcium carbonate and 
cause scale buildup. It may also gum up the outer layer of coffee when brewing espresso, causing uneven extractions. The SCA target level for sodium is 10 milligrams per liter. It's usually not a problem unless softening is used on very hard water as that process releases sodium. The easiest way to find out how much sodium is in your water is contact your water provider. While low levels can cause sweet taste in coffee, high sodium levels can cause sour flavors. How can you find out what's in your water? Well, you can try contacting your water supplier in the U.S. most published water test results online. Now, do be aware their focus is on contaminants, so they may not have information on things like TDS, hardness, alkalinity, and pH. To get that info, simple TDS meters run about 15 bucks. For other parameters, look for drinking water test kits online or at home pool or aquarium stores. So, real-world water recommendations. For super-automatic machines, we recommend using a filter as specified by the manufacturer. If your water is reasonable to start with, it's probably all you're ever going to need. The filters contain carbon for chlorine removal and softening to reduce calcium carbonate and control scale buildup. If you have extra hard water, again, be aware that softening can increase the sodium level to the point of making coffee sour. For semi-automatic machines fed by a reservoir, we recommend using in-tank softening filters. If the filter contains no carbon, and many don't, water can be dechlorinated by letting it sit in an open container for 24 hours. An easy container, of course, is your machine's reservoir. Fill the reservoir today, and the chlorine will be gone tomorrow. You could also fill from a water pitcher, which has carbon filtration. For plumbed machines, we recommend an outboard cartridge filter like the BWT Bestmax Premium Filter. It uses a five-layer process, including two particle filters, two carbon sections, and an ion exchange section to remove calcifying minerals. This filter makes great tasting coffee and protects prosumer-level machines from excessive scale buildup. If you need a filter or filter system, use the link up here to get to selections suitable for any machine. Now, if your water is extra hard or poor in quality, bottled drinking water, this stuff, that's an option. Just get test results from the vendor and see how they compare to the SCA standards. Now, if you're super geeky, another option is to start with distilled or zero TDS reverse osmosis water and add things like baking soda, Epsom salts, calcium, and more to create water that meets the SCA standard. We'll take a look at that and some other water recipes in a future video. Have questions on anything coffee? Well, use those comments. I always try to get you answers as soon as possible, usually in one business day or less. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and come back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.